Okay, let's start with our first distillation column, the DSTWU. This is case study number one or workshop number one. So the main idea is to use this model to separate a toluene benzene mix. Okay, so the feed is flowing at 100 km per hour and it contains 60% mole toluene and it contains 40% mole benzene. It operates at one atmosphere and the bubble point is fed to the distillation. So this is important. Bubble point is the feed temperature. And the 99% of benzene is recovered and 1% of toluene is recovered in the distillates. So this is interesting. 99% of the benzene must go here and only 1% of toluene. Okay, so first things first, they ask us for, oops, they ask us for the minimum number of stages. The number of stages, if we actually use 1.5 times this actual number, and what will be the best fit location, condenser, and reboiler duties. Okay. So the recommended thing to do is add benzene and toluene. After that, let's choose Peng Robinson because these are inorganic, no, sorry, organic species, non polars. And in the simulation environment, let's add the unit and the fit. So let's go to columns, TSTWU, this is the fit. And ensure to wait sure to use this one right here and since there is no statement of total condenser or partial condenser assume this is as follows this two okay so now add you don't know the temperature but we know this is the one bar. This must be, what was it? Bubble point, meaning that this is liquid. So state this as zero. And it's 100 kilomol per hour, 60% benzene, 40% toluene. Ensure to use small fraction. And now, go to the column. Number of stages, that's the point. Uh, what we, in, in instead of actually using number of stages, go to reference ratio, one. You can choose whatever point because what we want to do is to calculate the minimum reflux ratio. So whatever things you add here doesn't make sense because we need to first calculate the minimum number of stages yeah. and then multiply by 1.5. So, you will need to add a light key, which is the benzene. You know that this goes up and the toluene goes down. Recovery expected to be 99. And this one here. So, this is funny. This is actually going in the top. So, ensure to use 0 0.01. Condenser 1, reboiler 1, and run it. Okay, so we have one problem. The minimum reflux ratio is 1.11. So we now have our answer, 1.11. So this is not the best or most orthodox way to get it, but thankfully, whatever number, as stated before, that you choose is going to give you this. So a good start point will be also, I don't know, maybe 2.5. And you will see that this will not bring you an error. So you just click here and verify the results. As stated here, this will not change for the given conditions. Once you set up your mass balance, the minimum reflux ratio will always be this one right here. So this will be our answer for A. Now clearly, 
letter B is 1.5 times the minimum ratio. Actually, I used 2.5. So if you are using 1.5, this would be something around 1.6. If you use 2.5, you will get 2.775. So let's change that because we are not based on the minimum reflux, we are based on the actual reflux ratio. So run this, and this will be the actual operation. What we want to do is verify the results. Minimum reflux ratio remains the same, actual reflux ratio changes. Minimum number of stages, this will be the theoretical equilibrium stages, 10.26. Actual stages, depending on these conditions and, and approximate uh, efficiency will be about 13.7 that will be 14 stages feed stage the recommended feed stage is 7.5 so something in between 7 and 8 will do and what else do we need to know feed location we know it's between 7 and 8 and condenser and reboiler duties so those are here this is the reboiler duty and the condenser duty this is extra, the distillate temperature, bottom temperature, and so on. You can also verify the final compositions. Let's go and check that. So initially it's 60% benzene. In the bottoms, we're losing 1.5%. And the, pur the final purity is 99.3%. So I would say this is definitely a very good separation given the conditions.